Hello students, today here I am introducing you a very important term that is optical activity. So here, listen, optical activity, what is optical activity exactly? Optical activity is the property of the substance to rotate the plane of polarized light either clockwise or anticlockwise. So here, consider this is the source of light. Okay, now source of light produces light in all directions like this scatters in all directions if this light pass through the prism which is Nicole prism it is made of two prisms Nicole prism then this light appears only in one direction or scatters only in one direction and that light is called as a polarized light and the plane in which this light appears that is called as a plane of polarized light so this is the plane of polarized light when this plane of polarized light pass through the polarimeter which contains the solvent this solvent is under study for the optical activity now when it passes through the polarimeter this light rotates either clockwise or anticlockwise and if the light rotates clockwise the called as a dextro rotation or it is represented as a positive sign and if it rotates anticlockwise it is called as a levo rotation or it is represented by negative sign and if any compound which shows both the rotations in equimolar amount that is called as a racemic mixture it means what the compound which has dextro and levo both the isomers present in equimolar amount that is called as a racemic mixture so this property of showing dextro or levo rotation called as an optical activity. Now here I am explaining you the optical activity of 2-chlorobutane. Now here optical activity in 2-chlorobutane. Now the formula for 2-chlorobutane is what? CH3, CH, Cl, CH2, CH3. We can write this formula as CH3 if we take hydrogen this side so this will be CH Cl and if we consider this CH2 CH2 as C2H5 then this will be what CH3 CH Cl and C2H5 it means what central carbon atom has four different attachments that is CH3 H C2H5 and Cl it means central carbon atom has four different attachment and that carbon is called as a asymmetric carbon atom so or you can say chiral carbon atom also here only one asymmetric atom is there now next step number of asymmetric carbon atom as i told you here that is only one so that is n equals to one and if we have to find out the number of isomers possible then the formula is what a equals to 2 raised to n where a is what number of isomers possible and n is what asymmetric carbon atom number of asymmetric carbon atoms so here number of isomers possible 2 that 2 isomers are maybe dextro or levo now here non superimposable mirror images if we put this in front of mirror we'll get the mirror image like this if this is the mirror image so if we consider first structure to form or dextro isomer then automatically second structure will be levo isomer or levo form so if one is the dextro isomer then two will be levo isomer or vice versa if one we consider dextro its name is what d or positive 2 chlorobutane and if we consider this 2 it is l or minus 2 chlorobutane now here compound showing both isomers dextro and the levo therefore we can call at is a racemic mixture why because racemic mixture, mixture is what both the isomers present in equimolar amount that is 50 50 percent so this is racemic mixture and this racemic mixture is named as dl or plus minus 2 chlorobutane so this is about the optical activity of 2-chlorobutane.